Hi, welcome to Growing Dreams Homestead. I'm Dana and my family and I are homesteading on 10 acres in Indiana and I am down in my vegetable garden today. And as you can see, my tomatoes are taller than me. They are getting a little unruly, so I am going to be wrangling them, getting them all tied back in with um, some twine into the Florida weave and maybe even um, doing some pruning. So I thought I'd bring you along. Um, so here we go. Okay, so I've been down here for probably about two hours working on these tomatoes and pulling some weeds and getting a few places opened up because it's hard to be a good gardener when you can't walk through your garden because everything's going wild. So I'll show you the tomatoes I got taken care of and how those are looking and then what's next on the agenda for the garden. This is the first uh, tomato patch I started on. So these are all volunteers and they are taller than I am, as you can see. And these poles are probably about four and a half feet tall. So I got the um, last rope on there as high as it'll go. So from here, they're kind of on their own. Um, I got these guys tied up over here, added a fresh one. I. Uh, trimmed back some of these 
volunteer tomatoes that are encroaching on the peppers on this side. Over here, I got some more levels of my Florida weave. So there's probably room to do one more on these guys. So I think they look pretty good before I could barely walk through there. So there's a look down all the way through the paths. Okay, then on this side, I got these guys tied up. And then I had an issue over here and I realized that I only had weaved these one time. So that's why they were so unruly. So they're a little bit of a mess, but I think they'll be okay. Then I got these guys wrangled back into their cages. These are my watermelon beef steaks. Then I cleared out so I could get to my tunnel, which has my beans and cucumbers. And then down this row, I got those guys wrangled up and weeded through there because I couldn't even weed because there's so many tomatoes out everywhere. So there's still a lot of places I got to work. Like, look, you can't even hardly walk through there to get to the zucchini and squash because it's just a jungle and all the volunteer tomatoes are just everywhere. So I got to work on that need to do some weeding over here and then also up here in the front of the garden so there's lots of volunteers that have come up in the potatoes um, you can see the potatoes are starting to die back so I'm gonna get those dug and then carefully maybe try to leave some tomatoes so we'll see um, potatoes and onions will be probably tomorrow. So tomatoes can get really out of control really fast, um, especially the indeterminate varieties, which means they just keep growing and growing and growing. Um, the determinate ones have a determined size and um, those do a little better um, at staying contained. But these wild volunteers, I'm assuming are indeterminate because they're, they're just going crazy. So um, you can tie them you know, up like I've done. You can trim them back. Um, there's lots of ways to contain your unruly tomatoes. Um, I did a little bit of both. Just want to be able to walk through uh, my garden. It's important to be able to get into my garden to take care of it. And when they're just going everywhere, it makes it a little difficult. But there's lots of green tomatoes on. Hopefully I'll have some red ones soon. And I'll be sharing when we start picking those. And then I will do a video digging potatoes and get, harvesting some of the onions. Some are ready, some aren't. Um, so I will probably do that tomorrow. And yeah, I'll make a video and share it with y'all. So I hope you're having a good one. Thanks for hanging out while I did some garden chores. Uh, tomato wrangling. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.